Let's go to Canberra now and catch up with Ann Webster, Nationals member for the Mallee. Good to talk to you, Ann. There's, these issues come across your patch as well, of course, because in your area there's a lot of concerns about uh, the transmission projects and renewable energy projects that seem to be being steamrolled through the Mallee. Absolutely, Chris. Good to talk to you. Uh, it's uh, scarcely a day goes by where I don't hear from farming communities across Mallee uh, who are deeply concerned about transmission lines. 400 kilometres are expected to take place across Mallee, along with, of course, the renewable projects themselves. And then, of course, you've got to add rare earth mining. Yeah, it is a worry. Let me get uh, you on uh, politics, though, briefly, because after that uh, election roll in Tas Tasmania, we all, we all understand Tasmania has a different system, so, there, so you know, there, are, there are different complexities to, to keep in mind. But when you look at that and what we've seen in the federal politics with the rise of the Teals and the Greens in recent elections and with the latest news poll, we're looking at this horror scenario where you could have Anthony Albanese uh, later this year or next year governing in a, in a minority government with the Greens and or the Teals. This must be a big worry. Oh, absolutely is. I mean, do we really want to go through the Windsor, Oakshot, Gillard and back to Rudd years all over again? It is all about horse trading. It's all about keeping independence on side. It's not a government that can come with a strong agenda and to achieve that agenda. And... Uh, yeah, it's honestly, Australia, Australians need to be aware of what they're really doing when they're voting in independence. Does that mean that the coalition that Peter Dutton and David Littleproud need to rule out ever doing any uh, deals with, uh, obviously not the Greens, but with the Teals or other independents? Well, I mean, the reality is that uh, whoever forms government, if they're a minority government, uh, the options are what? Go back to the polls? I don't think so. Uh, so those decisions, I am really pleased to say, are above my pay grade. And uh, I would expect that Peter Dutton and David Littleproud will have very strong views on those, and I'll leave them to them. Thanks for joining us, Anne. I appreciate it.